Students? Deficient, professors say in poll. Americans want extensive changes in public school system, survey finds. U.S. students, dum-dums, nitwits, big, stupid, ignorant idiots, say Japanese. What's the moral? Basically, our kids aren't very bright. In the meantime, students in Japan are outperforming them in every subject. So what can we do to put our students on a par with Japanese students? We could spend more on schools, but that would mean less money for truck and tractor poles. <laughs> we could spend more time helping our children study, but that's not really practical when there's a good episode of math law coming on. <laughs> but there is another way to even the playing field. We can work together to drag down Japan's kids to the same level our kids are at. <laughs> and that's where we come in. Hello there. I'm Norm Lewis for Distract a Japanese Kid. Our goal at Distract a Japanese Kid is to significantly reduce the Japanese student's study time while increasing their time spent on non-educational activities. In short, to get them to waste time on the same brainless crap that ruined our kids. <laughs> now, I'm sure most of you are confused, and if you went through our public school system, you must be really having a hell of a time understanding this concept. So let's answer some common questions we get here at Distract a Japanese Kid. How can I distract a Japanese kid? Easy. Simply by sending them some of the stuff that is turning our kids into the future vegged out parasites of America. <laughs> Basically anything that halts the creative process and kills that spark of curiosity that leads to a love of knowledge and learning. <laughs> For example, Kellogg's Fruit Loops and Pop-Tarts. <laughs> now here's a sugar buzz that'll keep them away from the algebra books. <laughs> or how about this? Toy guns. Or better yet, real guns like our kids have. <laughs> Action Hero Comic Books. Now here's hours of valuable time spent worshipping mutant freaks in tight underwear. <laughs> and just to make sure, why not throw in a few peach wine coolers, too? <laughs> now let's take another question. The whole thing just seems so impersonal. Yes. That's why we've come out with our Adopt a Japanese Kid to Distract program. <laughs> You pick the child you'd like to distract from some pictures we send you and then shower them with gifts that will eat into their study time. Right, Sally? That's so true, Norm. Hi, I'm Sally Struthers for the Adopt a Japanese Kid to Distract program. Everyday children in Japan are studying so hard and learning things that our kids have no idea about. And it's so sad. <laughs> Like, they know things like where Botswana is. I don't even know where Botswana is, and I've been there. <laughs> so won't you please help and adopt one of them and start messing up their little head today? <laughs> Thank you, Sally. So please, do what you can. And remember, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. But if we're all doing it, what's the big deal? <laughs> I'm Norm Lewis. Thanks for listening. <laughs>